Hello, Alonso Linov here and today I'd like to share with you that I have almost completed my off the grid, off the water grid project and I'm about to cover the pipes. All these pipes that are running up, like this one is going to the biochar filter, this is coming from the solar pump, this is coming from the Barracuda pump behind me. So all these pipes are going to be covered in the next couple of weeks. <laughs> I mean, my wife has been complaining and it's just been an eyesore having all these pipes around. So I've got the last chance to show you where all these pipes lead to and where do they pump water and where they get water from. And it's a nice open, easy to flow system right now. So when you come to my workshop, I'll explain to you how all these maze of pipes works together to get this home off the water grid and right now I'd like to show you this gray water that's busy irrigating ah. <laughs> it's actually irrigating from a wetland that I'll show you just now and it's irrigating this entire garden come let me show you what has grown over the last summer season This backdrop behind me, a vertical food forest growing over a geodesic dome, has grown entirely from the treated grey water system. And this wetland is placed right here, is treating 15,000 litres of grey water per month from the bath and showers. And then it gets collected after treatment at the bottom tank in front of me. And from there the pump irrigates it right around. And the sprinklers right now are on. And here what I'm trying to achieve here is a vertical garden of Babylon with grapes and flowers and granadillas and beans that are going to provide food vertically in a small confined space of the city with walkways and bridges and dream catches that I've created that you can climb over the dome. Here it is, middle of winter and the vegetables are being irrigated from an automated sprinkler system that runs from the grey water. And there is the collection drum where the water gets collected after being treated. I put a lot of aerating plants in there and that's why it looks dark. Right behind me is the wetland that's gone on steroids from the grey water here that we've diverted. It has reached five meters tall. Believe it or not, this wetland only takes 1.2 square meters of floor space and has reached over 5 meters tall and it's cleaning 16,000 plus liters of water per month, every month, consistently for a year and a half. And this is what it looks like in the middle of winter. It is thriving. At the workshop that is happening in just a couple of weeks, we'll, I will teach you how to create that mini wetland in 1.2 square meter of lots of space. We'll do the project from start to finish. We'll also burn our own biochar and create our own biochar from wattle and create our own biochar filter that will treat 300 liters of rain or borehole water per day to give you superb quality drinking water. I've been drinking this water now for two months every day and I'm awaiting test results so hopefully by the time the workshop comes I'll have scientific proof that this water is of superb quality. I look forward to seeing you at the workshop. Check out the workshops page at alosha.co and I look forward to seeing you then. <laughs> it's two degrees outside. <laughs> I'm practicing my Russian spirit. The water is fantastic to swim in and to drink. And this is in the middle of Joburg.
in the middle of winter. <laughs> if you've got any questions or suggestions on how to get your home off the water grid, please post them, scroll below, leave a comment or hit the reply button. I'd love to know what you're thinking. Namaste.